All right, so this week we are going to be making an identity collage. Um, so an identity collage is going to tell us about you and the things that you love. You're going to be able to express yourself in an artistic way. I know art. What is that? Some of you joined this class because you thought it was going to be easy, right? And now you have to do art. Um, just kidding. So you're going to have fun with it, and you're going to take the tools that you have already learned and apply them to um, this project. So you are going to tell us about yourself in a variety of image with a variety of images in a digital way. All right, so let's go through this really quick. Um, we are going to be creating a collage. Let me scroll down to the bottom of something that looks like this. It's pretty zoomed in on this one, but it's um okay. So you're gonna put together a collection of images. Um, you're gonna use textures and colors. Um, different overlays and different layer mask types of layer masking. So you guys have already learned layer masking. You kind of messed around with um, adjustment layers a little bit. Now we're going to talk about blend modes. All right. So let's go through the process of this assignment. So the first thing you're going to do is gather your images. All right. You're going to have four sets of images that you're going to have to put together. The first set, you're going to pick a location. Okay, and I suggest picking a couple different um, images for this just in case one of them does not work out. Okay, it's always safe and good to have a backup. All right, so first set is location. So in your Google Drive, you're going to create a folder titled Identity Poster. Inside that folder, you will have a second folder titled Location. All right, this is where you're going to put your background images that you're going to use. So pick a location that is your favorite place or someplace that you'd like to visit someday in your life. Okay, make sure that the image is larger than a thousand pixels. And let me show you how to do that. So when we go to Google image search, you can also use the free websites that I provided. But I know that some of you are having a problem with um, getting unsplashed to load and that's fine. So if you do a Google image search and you type in the location, you're going to click on images and then you're going to click on tools. Then you'll go to size and we're going to change it to large. Okay, so this will bring up the large size files. So if I hover, it used to tell me what size this image was if I just hovered, but it doesn't do that anymore. So I think if I right click, let me see. I should be able to get the image size. All right, so it's pretty small still. So just um, do the best you can at picking large uh, file sizes, okay? And um, so when you save them, You'll click on the image and, oh, there we go. There's the number I was looking for. So when you click on it, it's going to appear right here in the corner. So this tells me this image is 2560 by 1920. So that's plenty big enough to use for my project. So I'll download that and save it to my um, images, image folder titled location. Okay, so I have a couple different options. I have two. The next folder you're going to create is called rep photos. So these are going to be images that represent you. Okay. So you're going to pull some images or you may already have some images, um, maybe of things that you've taken photos of or places that you've been, things that represent who you are. So I am a photographer. I have a strong faith. Um, I use, I love graphic design. I'm a crafter. So this is a cricket. Um, Laguna Beach Beach is my favorite, one of my favorite places to go. I am an Angels fan. Um, my colleges are here. And right now I'm really digging um, Torrin Wells music. So that's why I have him. All right. So other examples are hobbies, music artists, movies, religion, sports, fashion, books, um, a university that you may want to attend or an occupation that you may want to do. Um, in your life. So when you're gathering your images, please keep in mind, um, so you need to have at least seven, okay? Seven images that represent yourself. 
So try to collect images with a consistent color theme. So like warm colors, cool colors, contrasting colors. So these have a lot of contrast in my images. Um, they're bright, right? Like these are bright, this is bright. The red is standing out here, okay? So try to keep the colors um, a nice consistent theme. Your third folder is going to be a folder of textures. Okay. Um, so uh, with your textures, you're gonna do a Google image search for texture, texture background. And you should get a, a variety of options. So click on images. And again, you can change it to large. That way you know that it's big enough to work with. All right, so you can use textures and you can pull something like this. You can use a uh, bokeh background. So that's that nice um, B-O-K-A-H. That's that shiny light looking um, effect, right? That's called bokeh. You can pull those. Um, you can use uh, new old newspapers, for example. Just type in newspaper backgrounds, handwritten letter backgrounds, uh, sheet music, dripping paint, etc. Okay, bricks, concrete, um, leather. I don't know. You could the list could go on and on. But you're gonna have textures. So we're gonna use a texture. We're gonna apply the texture to our final layout and it adds a little bit of depth to our image. And finally, your fourth um, folder is going to be called personal photos. And here you're gonna post, you're gonna pick at least one image of yourself to put into your project, okay? It can be by yourself or with family and friends, uh, but it has to have you in the picture at least one, all right? So once I've gathered my images, I am going to make sure I have all four folders located in my Google Drive. So I'll have a folder in my drive, let's see, titled, let's go back here, Visual Identity Poster, okay? And then inside that folder, I'm going to have a folder titled Photos. Inside that um, folder, I'm gonna have my personal photos. I'm gonna have a folder titled textures. I'm gonna have a fo folder titled rep photos. Those are the ones that represent you. And what was the last one? Oh, background. That'll be the first folder. Background images. All right, so that is your assignment for today. You are going to pull images and put them in a background folder, personal photos, representational photos, and texture photos. Okay, so that is your project for today, is to pull all of those different photos and make sure that they are organized in this order. Okay, so create a folder in your drive, Title it Visual Identity. Let me see, where's mine at? I just had it. Okay, right here, Visual Identity. And inside that folder have one titled Photos. And then in there you'll have subfolders with these titles, okay? So that way we know what they are. Then, after you have all of your photos saved into those folders, you're gonna go back to your Visual Identity folder so let me open just that one. So you're gonna click on this folder just like this and you're gonna share it with me. So you're gonna click on share and you're gonna type my name right here and then hit done. And it will send me an email saying that you have turned it in or that you have emailed it to me. And this way I can make sure that you have all of the images that you're required to have. Okay, so inside your location folder, have at least two or three options. Inside your rep folder, have at least seven. Inside your texture, um, a good variety would be 
uh, four to six. And you're not going to use all of them for this one, um, just maybe one or two, but it's good to have choices. And your personal photos. You only need one that has a photo of you. You can use multiple photos if you prefer. All right. So that is your assignment for today. And make sure to share your folder with me. Okay.